Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. I keep uh, working right now. <laughs> okay. But today, excuse me. No worries. That's that's fine. It's very good that you're here. You're right. I keep in a list. Of course. Okay. That's fine. Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Just a few of you because I believe it's Friday. Everybody's coming home. So let's check the attendance as we usually do. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Turnaca de Rodríguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Ok, good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Ah, ok. Perfect. So let's continue with the class. Uh, ok, that's good, Mauricio. So, uh, yes, we were discussing a lot about warehousing and many other things. Yesterday, we also were checking about the robots, right? That are amazing in the warehouse, the way that they manage a lot of things, a lot of situations. So very, very interesting. So by now, uh, please remember that we need to continue with the platform. It's very important to continue. Next weekend, we have to finish everything. So by the next weekend, we need to finish all the exercises the midterm test, and also the uh, final test. And uh, uh, the last class is going to be on the November 27th. So it's going to be from this incoming Monday to the next Monday. So it's very, very important that we move on with the platform, okay? Tomorrow we are going to send the, the grades uh, up to the uh, unit number three. So we need to move on with that one. So we have to complete unit one, unit two, the midterm test and the unit three. So the next week is going to be only unit four and the final test, okay? If you have questions, let me know. Of course, I know that sometimes there are some challenges. There are some situations where the platform uh, is not working properly or sometimes the ones where you need to type, right? Those ones, uh, exercise sometimes are kind of complicated so because of 
a space or a period or anything like that that may cause that to be to be uh, not correct. So it's it's very important for us. To... Good. And uh, we are going to continue. Let me just check with a little bit. This one is a short one, so let's see how it goes, okay? As usual, we're going to watch the video and then you are going to tell me what you understand about that, okay? So here we go. Sequin Consumer Products is probably a brand name that a lot of people don't know. You probably know us better by our brand names that we sell to retail. Reese Hitches, Reese Towing Products, Highland Cargo Management and Tie Down Products. That's who we sell. Sequin recently worked with Associated, a provider of integrated supply chain solutions to analyze their distribution operations. Their goal was to uncover opportunities to optimize their warehouse in South Bend, Indiana. As a result of their engineering and design study, Associated provided Sequent with alternatives that would result in improved efficiencies and reduced operating costs. Based on these recommendations, Sequent opted to reconfigure their storage layout, adjust their fleet mix, and reduce process bottlenecks through the use of automation to optimize their fulfillment operation. We had a feeling that the fleet makeup would change, uh, but when we sat down with the engineering team and laid out for them where our primary pick faces were, uh, we changed the composition uh, primarily away from order pickers to single walkie riders. We had noticed that uh, we were spending too much time in the air picking, so we moved everything to the floor for pick face. Obviously a single walkie is a less expensive piece of equipment to acquire than a, a man up order picker is. Uh, it also tends to be faster and there's less safety concerns operating with that piece of equipment. So there were some big changes there. Um, but we also uh, have a lot of double deep high storage in this building and uh, the, the Raymond Double Deep Reach just is a really superior product for us, especially with the cameras and especially with the, um, the laser beam sight indicators for the, for the operators. We ended up with a fleet of 29 lifts, and it was a mixture of, of different products, single walkies, double walkies, order pickers, double deep reach trucks, uh, three wheel, forklifts, and an internal combustion truck. In addition to the process enhancement solutions, Associated recommended fleet management to further improve their truck and operator performance. The fleet is now equipped with the industry's most advanced fleet optimization tool, Raymond's iWarehouse. This system allows Sequin to operate with greater effectiveness and cost efficiency by providing them with real-time visibility to numerous data points. They can now evaluate and immediately act upon information that directly results in operational and bottom line improvements. Given Sequin's focus on sustainability, they also chose to employ opportunity charging for lift truck batteries, replacing a former battery charging system. Certainly in any warehouse operation, battery charging and changing is a big concern. Um, you have the safety concern of maintaining a battery room, of potential spills, of potential dropping a battery, of damaging a battery coming in or out of a piece of equipment, and just the floor space that a battery room ties up, plus the cost of the batteries. So with using the opportunity charging, every truck has one battery in it. Uh, we charge at uh, lunch times and we charge between shifts but uh, we've not had to change a battery here since early 2010. Another major solution provided by Associated is an extendable conveying system that allows Sequin to save additional labor costs by improving the efficiency in the unloading of import containers in receiving. We spend a lot of time with labor inside of those containers. At certain times of the year that's not so horrible, but when it's extremely hot out or extremely cold out, it really becomes a a quality of life issue for our people, plus we need to turn those containers relatively quickly. So uh, the Associated Engineering team put together a powered receiving conveyor solution for us that we installed this year and we've noticed uh, about a 30 percent decrease in unloading time both in labor and in time in the door for a hand unloading container. The results of the integrated solutions Associated provided have helped Sequin to optimize their storage and order fulfillment operations. Our first year payback was in the tens of thousands of dollars, and that's a composition of between lease, 
uh, ongoing maintenance for the equipment, and charging for the equipment. So we've, we've experienced a very nice savings. The folks from Associated have been a really good team to work with. Uh, they really listen a lot to us. They bring in innovative solutions. Uh, they take us out on field trips. Uh, they really just spend time working with us to make sure that we're happy and that we're um, listened to. Okay, what did you get from the video? Interesting video, teacher, about the supply chain operations solutions. I write, uh, I heard uh, at least four solutions in the supply chain operation. Uh, reduce operations uh, cost, reduce processes in the logistics, uh, automatizations uh, a lot cost, and the sustainability systems and the machine with that electrician energy. Very good, very interesting, right? Because those little things, uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes there are just a little thing that you uh, you can change or you can update so everything goes well, right? Very good, good. any other comments on the video? Okay, so let's continue with the book, actually. Let's see how it goes. So we are still in unit number three and still with a warehousing. So the exercise number seven says building vocabulary. Label the warehousing processes using the words from the box. So there are some concepts and the names of the of those. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to read about these. Yeah. And then uh, you are going to tell me what is going to be the answer for those. Let's work on that one, okay?
Okay, my friends, let's check about the exercise. Uh, the first one, it says, your orders must be packed in the right package, complete with an accurate content slip and added to a delivery manifest for dispatch. So, what would be the answer for this one? In your opinion. Anybody would like to share? What did you do? I'm seeing is a uh, shipping. Shipping, okay. It says your order must be packed in the right packaging, complete with an accurate content slip and added to a delivery uh, manifest for dispatch. Mm, yeah, that sounds very interesting. Yeah. A uh, content slip, do you know what is a slip? Okay, slip is como un recibo, uh, something with information about the order. Very good. The number two says, these goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order. And the information has to be logged against the customer's account. So, which one do you think is this? So no, uh, I think it's manager returns. Very good, manager returns. So, uh, let's check some words. What is? Ah, uh, well, here there is another one. Manifest. What is the manifest? Manifest. Very good. There yeah. is a document. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, that is a document that we have when you are going to ship something uh, to other countries. So it's like the documentation uh, that tells anybody that sees that what is in the container or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And what is unloaded, anybody knows? Descargado. Very good, that is it. Uh, and then we have check off. So check out is revisado, right? Yeah. But we have another one that is against. What is against? Yeah. Otra vez. Oh, Contra. that is again, and this is against. Contra. 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 Very, very good, nice. Mm -hmm. And the other one here is loved. What is loved? No, registrada. Registrada. Very good. That would be it. very nice. Okay, the number three says items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins or packed for dispatch without further storage. What do you think is that? Picking. Picking, very good. So let's check here if there is any word. We check what is being said, so we know that one. Uh, what is dispatch? Despacho. Despacho, despachar. Very good. Despatches chat. And further, what is further? No, Más lejos. Más lejos. Más allá. Very good. Very nice. So number four says it must be easy for your pickers to find items. And their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized. So what do you think is that? Okay. 
any idea on this? Teacher, it's possible picking. Mm, picking is already used in the other one. Okay. It's possible in bone in bone process? In bone processes. Mm, I don't think it's that uh, down. Huh? I I think it's still um it's a logic and slotting. Layout and slot. Very good. That is it. Uh, so, uh, layout es como el dibujo de dónde está cada cosa. So, es un, un dibujo que hacen los ingenieros para las áreas, para saber dónde va a estar cada cosa. So, that is very, very good. And slotting es como dónde va cada cosa también, como arreglarla. So, let's check. Uh, let's check uh, some words. Uh, journey. What is journey? Por nada. Por nada. No. Actually, that is viaje. Un viaje. So, entonces lo que dice es su viaje eh, o el tiempo de viaje entre items and between orders should be minimized. Entonces por eso es layout. Porque tiene que ser minimizado cómo se mueven dentro de la bodega. Good. Eh, the next one, number five, it says fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bound together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. What do you think is that? Packing. Okay. It could be packing, yeah, because it's with the way that you are going to go. Let's see some words. Um, mm, I don't see any new word. And the last one, the right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. What do you think is that? In bone process. Okay, very good. And let's see if there is any word. I don't see any word here. Very good. And let me check. No, we're not gonna do that. So let's continue with the next one. It says, I will be able to make suggestions related to warehouse management issues. And uh, question number one says, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? Actually, we checked that already, so we're not going to check. And uh, exercise number two, it says, imagine you are a warehouse manager and you are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced products. Which of the following issues would you solve first? So we're going to rank the issues from one to five. One is the least affects productivity and five is most affects productivity. So uh, uh, one is the problem that is not that big and five is a big, big problem. And then we're going to check the run. So what we're going to do is we're going to check this that we have here and then you are going to tell me what is the, the biggest problem and then what is the second one, the third one and things like that. So I'm going to give you a few minutes. Excuse me, teacher, you have to uh, order the, the uh, processes order. You are going to order be, uh, in order of, uh, or organize in order of uh, the impact of the productivity. So okay. all of this, all of these are problems. So which one is the biggest problem? Okay. All right, I will give you a few minutes for you to check into that one and check some. Uh, understanding.
Where found the space? Okay, so uh, I'm going to read all of them first and you are going to tell me which one do you believe is the most important. So uh, the first one says inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. So what is inaccurate? That's the first question. Incorrecta o incorrecto, recipientes incorrectos. Very good, incorrecto, eh, no, no exacto, mm -hmm. inexacto, very good. And what is receipts? No, recipientes. Recibos. Recibos, no. Recibo. ah, sorry. The other one says lack of communication between employees. Do you remember what is lack? Falta. Oh. Falta de. Very Falta de. good. Ah, falta de comunicación junto a los, a los empleados. Entre algo así. los empleados. Entre los empleados. Entre los empleados. Good. The other one says lack of cooperation between departments, time management, warehouse space. Entre los departamentos. Okay, so in your opinion, what is the most, uh, the biggest problem on this? The communi communication. Yeah. Communication oh. is a big problem. For the uh, engranage, no communication like um and fluid fluid and line and line health. No, no, it's possible. The object. Yes. Yeah. That I is think a... the, the most the most uh problem is a uh, lack of communication between employees because okay. uh, if you don't have Communication, uh, the mm -hmm. uh, nobody will know what have to say or to do. I, I yeah. agree, teacher. I agree with Veronica and, and with Rene. Uh, the lack of communication between employees or department uh, are the, the most affect, affect the pro productivity in the warehouse uh, company. Okay. In I, I think the, the problem number one eh, every every general in in this distant companies is the communication for me I I think I think uh, the communication for me my experience I look eh, is a big problem the the communication okay. so yes I believe that. Uh... Sadly, this is something that happens in all the companies, right? And it's a big problem because, I mean, if the employees, they don't know very well the uh, the instructions on what to do something, it's not possible to do anything, right? And if the communication between them or with the other departments is not good, definitely it's going to have a big impact. Very good. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay, for me, for me, for me, uh, is that um, warehouse space and organization is not uh, space ne and organization no 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 warehouse. You are right. I mean that is also very important because remember that 
uh, if you have the product but you don't have the space or you are paying too much, probably it's going to uh, be more expensive for the product. So definitely this is something uh, very, very big and it, uh, impacts okay. in money. Yeah. Uh, imagine is, um, for example, uh, in an ingenio uh, uh, sugar, uh, it's a big, big, big problem. It's a uh, it's warehouse space space for for the for the product. It's a uh, uh, por eso es que tiene que rent to uh, warehouse in in the harbor port, uh, almacenadora del Pacífico, por ejemplo. Porque no es país, no es país. Yeah, yeah, if there is no space, uh, there, that is a solution, but it's going to be more expensive for you and the product. Right? So yeah. definitely, it's as, I mean, if it impacts the money, uh, it's a big problem that we need to consider, right? Translate to cost uh, consumers. <laughs> exactly. That is happening. And and the, another problem that we have is if that happens, sometimes it's not uh, a good idea to increase the price. So sometimes what happens is that at least in the at the beginning of this kind of processes, if that is happening, is that uh, the profit is going to be less. And uh -huh. um, or in... in... In export, in export, in in product, the the exporters, the exporters, uh, no no translate cost to consumer uh, for price inter, international price is es este fijar en eh, en bolsa eh, no 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 translate price. Uh, ni cost. Okay, that is true. That is true. So, uh, all of these probably are uh, big impacts, uh, but sometimes also depends on the product and warehouse and the, the system that you have, right? Uh, but the tool that you have mentioned is one of the biggest problems that any company have, right? Nice. So let's go to the next exercise. It says build. Teacher. Yeah, it's very interesting yes. because sometimes uh, little things impact big in the company, right? So not good at all. So this is a building vocabulary exercise. Uh, I will give you a few minutes for you to check the concepts and then decide what is the name for each of the concepts, okay? Okay, teacher.
Okay, my friends, let's check together. So the first one says, this is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. So what is that one? What do you think is that? I think it's a drop cheaper. Direct shipping, very good. That is it, okay? Uh, we don't have any words here. The number two, it says, it is operated as an independent business offering, a range of services, such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed or variable fee. So what do you think is that one? Direct tipping, maybe? Uh, we checked that already. So it's not that one. Okay. Sorry, don't find the, the, the word that you say. Uh, yes. So uh, we are trying to look what is the name of this. Uh, that is the number two. It is operated as an independent business, offering a range of services, such as storage, handling, and transportation, on the basis of a fixed or variable fee. What do you think is that one? Private, private warehouse? Private warehouse, it can be. Yeah, that is possible. Uh, I don't see any of uh, range. What is range? Rango. 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 Very good. And what is a fixed fee? Fixed. Fixed, encontrar. Mm. No. Reparar. Como reparación, reparar, algo así. Ah, uh, sí significa reparación, but in this case, es fijo, algo fijo. Ah, uh, yes, fixed or variable. Variable, fijo y variable. What is fee? Tarifa. Tarifa, very good. That is it. Okay, number three says, warehouse owned by a third party entity. These warehouses provide specialized services in addition to allowing the client to store goods. Which one is that? Uh, warehouse. Um, sorry, which one? Uh, ah, yes, contract warehouse. Contract, contract warehouse. yeah, contract, contract warehouse. Yeah, very good. Contract that would be. all right. Let me see if there is any word. Uh, own what is own? Very nice. Yes, that is it. Yeah, well. Nice, that's good, right? <laughs> so num number four it says the retailer does not keep goods in stock but instead transfer the customers orders and shipments details to the manufacturer another retailer or a wholesaler who then ships the goods directly to the customer which one is that one drop, drop shipping drop shipping okay very good um i don't see any words here so Let's go to the last one, number five. It is a storage facility that is open to the general public, while this kind of warehouse is used by private individuals. They are also used by companies or small to medium size to store the goods safely. Public warehouse. 
public warehouse. Very good. That is the one. So, do you remember what is while? Como. Mientras. Mientras. Mm -hmm. Very good. And there are no other here. Very nice. So, ah, this is a little bit of grammar. How to use clauses when, with when and if uh, to express future condition. So this is the future conditional. This is very nice. Clauses, remember that are when there are two ideas together, right? So that is a clause. So let's see. Um, Silvia, Patricia, could you please help me read in the chart? Not possible, Silvia. What about, let's see, Monica Avalos? Not possible either. Uh, Juan Roberto. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> clauses with when or if describe what you think you will do or what it will happen in a, in a specific situation in the future. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. Our customer's satisfaction will be compr compromised when there are inaccurate purchases orders. If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Our productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Notice that we Notice that the when, if clause is expressed in present tense, and the independent clauses clause express future tense with will. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So, uh, clauses with when or if describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. So, it's a cause and consequence. Okay, when this happened this other thing will happen in the future. So that is the idea. So uh, the examples are very interesting. So when and if is kind of the same here, okay? Si esto pasa o cuando esto pase. So it's exactly the same in these clauses. But look at the difference. So for example, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, comma, this is very important, the comma, okay? When you use at the beginning, when or if, then you need to separate the two classes in the co with a comma. So that means that when you use the cows first, then the two classes has to be separated by a comma. So for example, when there is an accurate purchase orders, comma, customer satisfaction will be compromised. But also you can use the other way, the opposite. So if you use the future clause first, no comma is needed. So for example, customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase order. So in the second one, since we use the will clause first, no comma is needed. Let's check the other example. If there is a lack of communication between employees, comma, that is comma, pro productivity will decrease. Or productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. So that will be. So when you use if or when at the beginning, uh, comma is needed. When you use will clause at the beginning, no comma is necessary. And then it says, notice that uh, the when, if clause is expressed in present tense and the independent clause expresses future tense with will. So that is another important thing. So the first part, or, or not the first part, the clause with uh, the cows, we're going to use that in present. And the clause of the consequence is going to be in future with will. So one is in present, and that one has when or if, 
And the other one is the, the consequence that is going to be with will at the end. Uh, do you have any questions with this grammar? Clearly or shut uh, teacher, Excuse me, I wanna, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. And the first, uh, when, you, when you use the cause phrase, and the consequence is uh, affirmative to future. future. Uh, yes, I mean, the uh, consequence or the future can be affirmative or negative, not, not a problem. Uh, the important part is the order of the clauses. So when you yes. use first the clause with when or if, you need to use a comma. If you use first the will part, then the comma is not needed. Template, uh, and, uh, I understand that when is a, a consequence and the if is uh uh maybe a speculation mm, actually no when and if are both uh causes and no. the other one the one that we use with will that is the consequence mm -hmm. if i say it, uh, if you for example if if you go to the party comma uh, wait for me for example yeah, I don't you, know. you will wait for me. Okay. So that will be it. good. Any other question with this grammar? No. All right, let's practice then. So here we have some exercises and it says rewrite the sentences below to make statements using clauses with when and if expressing future. Modify the verse when necessary. So here, uh, we're going to use when, for example, and we have two clauses, two ideas. So you are going to put together the two ideas with when and will, and uh, decide if you are going to use a comma. I will give you a few minutes for you to do the exercise. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Will. I don't get a 
No, 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 en tu caso. Y tengo la foto. Un, un, un conector de puertos. Uh -huh. Trae él. All right, so let's check together about the number one. Who wants to tell me the first one? And anybody wants to share? Uh, no, I I think I have when okay. time is waste over unnecessary over unnecessary task the organization will be adopted back. Okay, very good. When time is wasted over unnecessary tasks, uh comma, comma. right? Mm -hmm. comma. The organization of the dog will be bad. It will be something like that. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Who wants to share number two? Teacher, the, the number two is possible. Money is lost, comma, if the financial department send inaccurate report. Mm, let me think. Remember that in one part, you are going to use if or when. But in the other point, you are going to use a uh, will. Yeah. Yes, I have to check if money lost. Will the financial department send inaccurate reports? That is fine. Money will be lost if the financial department send uh, inaccurate reports. That would be it. Good. What about number three? When there is this program section, the, uh, the warehouse will 
space limit. The warehouse, the warehouse space will be limited. Will be limit. Will be limited. That will be good. Okay. Nice. Very good. What about number four? How do you think it's gonna be that? When time is waste, the employer's will will be open boxes and front items. I don't see so. I don't yeah. see so. <laughs> okay. When the employees. Okay, that that is it. When the employees open boxes and count items, comma for example, time will be wasted. Mm. will be wasted very good and number five who is going to be number five if there is lack of communication between employees of the time to fulfill or their will increase will increase very good so if there is lack of communication between employees comma the comma is very important uh the time to fulfill orders will increase very good so i guess we have an idea on this one but i would like you to to write also three sentences three sentences with this structure okay and then you are going to share with the class so i uh, take the time and write three sentences with this grammar.
Okay, who wants to share their sentences? Let's see how it goes. Anybody wants to share the sentences? Can I share one, uh, teacher? Of course. Okay. Uh, if you study a lot, you will pass the exam. That is correct? I'm sorry, could you please repeat? If you study a lot, you will pass the exam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just remember to add the you yeah in that case you need a comma to separate down so that that's the only thing i have i have a, a sentence teacher go ahead <clears throat> the sales will be affected comma if the company have communications problems okay very good that is nice Good, good. Anybody who else wants to share that? Any other sentence that you want to share? Okay, let's continue then with the last part of the unit number three. This is a reading. So it says, I will be able to provide safety measures related to different processes at a warehouse. Number one says, let's start. Hazardous materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? Uh, let's check some words here. So hazardous, do you know what is hazardous? Como dañinos. Very good. Like, dangerous. like a dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Okay. And we're not going to check that one. So we're going to go directly to the reading. I'm going to read, check the pronunciation, and then you are going to read, and then we're going to check vocabulary. So here we go. Check the pronunciation. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PLs look at safety as meeting the minimum extracted by the law or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increase productivity. Fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes in training and education programs starts with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Keep ALs and pace, uh, passageways clear at all times. Keep your back straight, down bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible rather than pull loads, test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep docks and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. Okay, so do you have any, any question on pronunciation? Mm 
Yes, I repeat, please, the pronunciation and literal C and pass, passageways. Passageways. Uh, oh, yeah. Passageways. 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 Yeah. Oh, interesting. A new word. Definitely. <laughs> there is conductos. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Any other uh, pronunciation question? A letter, a letter A. A tour group. Tour group. A final line. A, yes. Throughout. Throughout. Yeah. Throughout. Okay. Okay. Any other pronunciation question? A lo largo de. Yes, this is a fun. Yeah, something like that. In the in the paragraph uh, that start unfor unfor unfortunate, unfortunately. Uh huh. What is the the best pronunciation? Infor okay, that is unfortunately. Unfortunately, in the last in the last line in the same paragraph, reduced. Al, al, al best, al best in. Uh, reduce. Let me see. In the same okay. paragraph. Uh -huh. But the last line. Reduce al best, al best in. I don't know. I just can't find the oh. word. Let me see. Unfortunately, instructed by the in long run was delivers important cost savings through higher increased reduction to fewer work disruptions and reduce oh okay got it absenteeism absent absenteeism 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 this is very, very complicated <laughs> um absenteeism. it's it's not complicated but the, the problem is that it's not uh, pronunciation that we do here. So in in Spanish, we don't have that one. But it's absentism, something like that. Adventism. Yeah. Adventism. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? Go ahead, teacher. Let's practice. Let's see how it goes. So, Ernesto, you are the first one. Okay, teacher. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PL, 3PLs look at safety as meeting the minimum inst instructed by by the law or their conscience in the long run however a safe warehouse environment delivers delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity fever workplace disrup disruptions and reduce adventism absentism and Advent, Adventism, absentism, absentism, and, equi and equipment. Thank you, teacher. Down, downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Est establishing a safety culture, including the the necessary operational change and training and education program, start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Uh, level A, make sure that garbage and debris bins are available uh, throughout the warehouse. Level B, block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Level C, keep eyeless and ales and passaways 
clear at all times. Level D, keep your back straight. Don't, don't bend over. Level E, teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull load. Level F, test the load before lifting, lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get, get help. Level G, keep dogs and flo floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, balling materials, debris, dirt, and oil. And level H, permit access to above floor, racks, and shelves. Only its portable mm -hmm. ladders or appropriate lifting device are available. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. So the next one is Juan Roberto. Okay. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, two main warehouse and TPLs look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law of their conscience. If the law wrong, however, as a safe warehouse environment mm -hmm. delivers important costs saving throughout, higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational change and training and education programs starts with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure that garbage and debris and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to exposed or open loading dock duck door doors. Keep aisles and passageways clear at all times. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. That test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep ducks and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor, floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or, or appropriate lifting device are available. Very good, perfect, thank you. The next one is uh, Oscar René Molina. Sorry, uh, what do you continue, teacher? Uh, you are going to read all the paragraph. All the paragraph. Okay. Yeah. There is more the warehouse. <clears throat> okay. There is two. There is more to warehouse safety, the obedience to fire calls and safety regulation. Unfortunate fortunately to many warehouse and three PLs. To safety, to add safety, and meaning the meaning instructed be, by the law, law, or daily's conscience. In the long run, however, a safety warehouse environment delivers important cost saving throughout higher, higher employee satisfaction in increase, increased. Productivity fewer decreased. decreased in productivity fewer workplace this description and requisite advantages is equipment after this and equipment downtime. Don't expect, expect employees to start with a culture of saving at the world. Establish it a safety culture 
including the necessary operation change and rating and education programs. It starts with you. Hey, mire, como voy puntuando, ya se fijó. <laughs> okay. The following <laughs> are some men measures you could start implementing with your team. A. Make sure the, that garbage and debris beers, beans are available throughout. Come, what it is throughout? Throughout. Throughout the warehouse. B. Block access to explosive or open loading loading dock doors. C. Keep us easily. Ails and passenger ways clear, clear at all time. D. Keep your back string strain. The don't be over been over. E. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment wherever possible, rather than pull loads. If test the load before li lifting it, lifting it. It is if it, it it is too heavy and bulky. Get help. G. Keep doors and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. H. Permit access to a boat, a boat, a boat floor ranks and service. Only if portable <clears throat> le leathers or appropriate lifties. lifting this device are devices. Braces. David Gomez? Devices. Devices are available. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, next one, Jose Alfredo Hueso, is it possible for you? Not possible. Veronica Elizabeth, not possible, right? Okay, uh, Roberto Carlos, is it possible for you? Yes. Okay. It's the, please. It's going to be all of it. Sorry, don't understand. Uh, yes, read all the paragraphs. Oh. There is more to warehouse safely and an audience to fire calls and safely reflection. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and real three PLS look at the safely as safety. 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 safety, yeah. Safety, okay, the safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law or the functions in the long run. However, a safe warehouse environment gives important costs, costs, saving drops, their employees satisfaction and increases productivity. Few workplace description and Reduce reduce absenteeism. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And equipment from time. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of softly work of softly at work. Establish establishing a softly safely culture safety. safety. I I forgot. Okay. Safety, safety, culture. Including the necessary operation change, training, and education programs starts with you. The following uh, are some measures you could start implementing with your team. A. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. B. Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. C. 
keep ageless ales. Ales. Se me lengua la traba. Ales. <laughs> and pace ways clear all clear at all times. Keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Teach employee teach employees employees to push manual material handling keep equipment whenever possible. Greater than pulls than pulls load. If there's the load before lifting it, if it if it's too if it is too heavy or bulky, get help. He kept dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, belly, garbage boxes, belly, value materials, dirt, 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 and oil. Each permits access to a bowl, floor racks, and shelves. Shelves is correct? Shelves. Helps only if for table letters or appropriate lifting device are available. 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 Available, yeah. Ah, okay. Nice. Good. Thank you. So, Mauricio Rivera, is it possible for you? Mm, not possible. Okay, let's see who else is. Monica Avalos. Blanca Tunaka. Yes. Okay. There, there is more to where water house safety than obedience to fire calls and safety regulation. Unfortunately, unfortunately, to many warehouse and three PLs look as at safety is meeting the minimum introduced by the law or their conscience in the long run. However, a safe warehouse in the environment, environment. Uh, environment delivers important cost saving throw. Higher employee satisf satisfaction and increase productivity. Figure workplace this this disruptions and reduce abstention and equipment absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary opera, operational change and training and education programs start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. And numeral A, make sure that garbage and debris bin are available. Available. Um, available throw 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 the warehouse. Numer numeral B um block access to exposes or open loading dock dock doors. Numeral C keep a slice in passive P you mean ales 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 in passageways clear passageways clear at all times. Numeral C, D, keep your back straight. Don't open over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment. 
whenever possible, greater than poor laws, numeral F, test the law before lift, lifting. It, it is, if it is too heavy or bulky, get help, numeral G, keep dog and floors free of boxes, garbage, boxes, valley materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Numeral H, permit access to above floor fracks and shelves, only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting device are available. All right, perfect, thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. Maria Julia. Uh, there is more the warehouse safety than obedience to fire code and safety regulation. Unfortunately, too many warehouses in triple L's look at safety as mirroring the minimum structure by the law or their conscience. In the long run, However, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased producti productivity, fewer workplace disruption, and reduced abs absentism. Abs absentism. Absentism and equipment dump time. Don't, don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational change in the training and education program, start, start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. A. Make sure that garbage and debris being are available through, throughout the, the warehouse. B. Block access to exposed or open loading, lo loading doctor. C, keep iceless and passage ways clear at all time. Uh, D, keep you back Try don't bend over. E. Teach employee to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible. Rater than than pull all if test the load before lifting if it if it it do herby or Buckley get get help. G, keep dock and floor free of box garbage boxes, violent materials, debris, dirt, and oil. H, permit access to uh, above floor rank, rack, and served only if is portable ladders or appropriate lipstick the device are available. Okay, very good, very good, thank you. So now we're gonna go with Aida Lopez. Okay, like There is a more the warehouse safely than obedience to fire code codes 
and safety regulation. Unfortunately, too many warehouses and 3PL look at safely as meeting the aluminum structure by the law in their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important costs, saving through higher employment situation and increased productivity. Fewer workplace dis disruption and reduce uh, safe stains and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safely that work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs. Start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Letter A. Make sure that garbage and debris bring are available throughout the warehouse. Letter B, block access to expose or open lonely dog door. Letter C, keep eyeless and pass, pass, you, pass passageways. Passageways. Passageway. Clear up the times. Keep your back strained, don't be over. Letter E, teach employees to push manual material, handing equipment whenever possible. Write it down, pull down. Letter F, test the law before lifting it. Lifting. It is lifting. Lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, give help. Letter G, keep dogs and floor free of, free of boxes, garbage boxes, bailing material, uh, debris, dirt, and oil. And the last one, letter H, permit ac access to a bowl floor run in silver, in shelves, only shelves, only if portable leaders and, or appropriate lifting device are available. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Sylvia Patricia. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fight calls and safety regulations. Unfortunately, to many warehouse and TLTLs look at city as being instructed by the love of their constant. The long term delivers your post. Thank you. 
Okay, perfect, thank you. There was a cut off, but it was able to listen to some of it. So, uh, Sandra Gomez. Mm, not possible. Okay, uh, Oseas Fiero. Okay. Okay. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience uh, to fire calls and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and FPLs look at safety as meeting the minimum instructed by the law or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important costs saving through. Higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity. Fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Don't expect employees don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education programs, start with you. The following are some measures you could start implementing with your team. Make sure that garbage and de is debris or debris? Debris. Debris, okay. And debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Block access to expose or open loading dock doors. Keep aisles and passageways clear at all times. Keep your bag straight, don't bend over. Teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads, rather than pull loads. Test the loads before lifting it. If it is if it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Keep dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, bailing materials, debris, dirt, and oil. Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable ladders or appropriate lifting devices are available. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Ramiro, is it possible for you? Okay. All right, so I guess everybody did it. So let's check some pronunciation things. But first of all, remember, safety, okay? This is very important, safety. Obedience. Uh, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Through. Fewer. Disruptions. Uh, reduced. Absentism, downtime, equipment. Uh, let's see. Measures, debris, available, 
throughout. Eh, esta tiene truco. La primera S no se dice. Ails. Ails. Passageways. Straight. See what else? Shelves. Shelves. Ladders. Okay, that is it. So let's check some vocabulary. What is safety? Seguro. Seguro, seguridad. Nice. Um, let's see. Missions. When you say in the long run, what do you understand on that one? The long run. Mm. Okay. A largo plazo. Okay. <laughs> Disruptions. Interrupciones. Uh, esta no es difícil, lo que pasa es que se parece mucho al español, entonces creo que ahí está más sí. fácil. Sí. Ausentismo. Sí. Ausentismo. Entonces, esa última palabra, tismo, es más, más que todo es lo que da aquí. Absentismo. Absentismo. Esta palabra está difícil, dicha. ¿Do you think? <laughs> I, yes, I think, but uh, the practice. The practice yeah. is, is the key. Definitely. The complicated of this word is the, 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 the pronunciation. Yeah, the pronunciation. Mm. What is common is with, or, it's not common. Yeah. with a shot of Johnny Walker. Oh, yeah. We understand but, everything. We can say many never, words. Never worries. <laughs> with a pair of Johnny uh, Walker after speaking in French, German. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is possible, definitely. Okay, the other one is downtime. What is downtime? Okay, downtime is tiempo muerto, tiempo que se ha caído el equipo porque está de reparaciones o algo por el estilo. Uh, measures, what is measures? Yes. Medidas. Medidas, very good. Garbage, what is garbage? Basura. basura. O basurero, basurero. Basura, basura, that would okay. be. Uh, debris. Una como brandy, algo así. Okay. Escombros. Okay. Escombro, okay. Escombros. And beans? Do you remember what is beans? Beans, not these frijoles. It's beans. Beans. <laughs> beans, no. It's not that, uh, definitely. Contenedores. 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 Very good. Very good. What is oh, uh, available? Sorry. Disponible. Disponible. Good. And what is. The disruption. Uh -huh. uh, why is uh, use beans and not container? A uh, container is something in general. Beans is como una. La palabra esta se puede relacionar mucho a, por ejemplo, a los a las a las impresoras. Esa palabra ahí ocupa beans. Un bean es una impresora es donde se pone el papel. Entonces es donde se deposita algo. Esa es la por ahí va el asunto. No es tanto contenedor, sino que donde se puede depositar, ingresar. Ok, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, throughout. What is throughout? A lo largo de. Very good. A través de. Very nice. 
Ok. Uh, uh, it says loading dog doors. What is that? Ok, serían las puertas en el puerto de carga. Ails. Esta también hay que recordar que la primera S no se dice. Ails. What is that? Ails. Pasillos. Very good. And passageways, do you remember? Mm. René mentioned something in Spanish, but I don't remember right now. Pasajes. Es como un pasaje, algo pasaje. parecido a pasillo, pero un pasaje. So that would but, Podría entenderse, maybe, can, uh, can we understand the best way uh, how the... Uh, space in the in the free space for example i have a passageway in my backyard yeah okay. something like that yeah okay good perfect uh the other one says straight what is straight hecho uh, de hecho es recto Uh, bend over. What is bend over? Esta es junta, un sala, una sola cosa. Bend over es como agacharse, doblarse. Ok. Uh, handling. What is handling? Manejable o algo por el estilo. Manejar. Very good. And pull loads. What is pull loads? Tirar de la carga. Es empujar la carga. Pull. Bueno, de hecho es jalar. Eh, this is empujar y este es jalar. Pull and push. Eh, lifting. What is lifting? Ya pinta el labio, pasó este volado. <laughs> uh, well, actually, lifting es levantar. <laughs> uh, bailing materials. What is bail bailing material? Empacar materiales. Uh, materiales de empaque. Materiales de empaque. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Un rack, you say, it's like some rack. A shelf. This is the word shelf. What is shelves? Estantes. Estantes, very good. Uh, ladders, what is ladders? Escalera. Escalera, very good. And that is it, my friends. A lot of vocabulary and very good reading. So uh, next Monday, we're going to finish this part. So, and then start with unit number four. Uh, do you have any questions before we finish? A teacher, very good, uh, a new vocabulary. Yeah, readings are fantastic because of that. You are able to get more vocabulary. So it's a very good practice. Okay, so uh, let's check the uh, attendance and then let's go to bed. So, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, person. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Okay. Mónica Wendy Avalos Present. Okay. 
Eh, Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Please finish the unit three uh, on the platform and see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend too, teacher. Thank you. Take care. So Have you. a nice everybody, classmate, teacher. Have you. a nice weekend. See you if your rain don't dry. If yeah. You, if you, if you want to uh, drink, tell me and go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take care. Take care. Hey, Take happy care. weekend. Happy weekend. Happy. Hello. Hello, can you hear me?